बिस्मिल्लाम अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मदिहा क्रेशी टीचर ऑफ गार्ड्स पब्लिक स्कूल वन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आई एम अगेन हेयर टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास थ्री बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर टू डेज लेक्चर लेट्स टेक अ प्रीव्यू ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर वन डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट इज द ह्यूमन बॉडी and how many parts of a human body has the human body is the structure of a human being and it has many parts like bones muscles joints and organs and organs are of two types they are external organs and internal organs students we had also talked about the human brain Do you remember what is the function of the human brain? Yes, the brain is the control center of the body. It controls all the systems and organs. Can anybody tell me how many parts of a human brain has? Yes, there are three major parts. Number 1 cerebrum, number 2 cerebellum and number 3 medulla. Let's have a look of today's topics. I am going to cover these topics in lecture number 2. The sense organs, the systems of the body, the skeletal system and the muscular system. Let's start with our first topic that is the sense organs. The sense organs are body organs by which we are able to see smell hear taste and feel the sense organs take in information and send it to our brain so that we can be aware of our environment students you know when we use our sense organs they inform to our brain and then our brain tells us that what we are seeing what we are listening what we are smelling what we are tasting and what thing we are touching so can anybody tell me how many sense organs do we have yes we have five sense organs these are eyes ears nose tongue and skin let's learn more about them now we will talk about eyes the eyes are one of the most important organ of our body when the eyes see something they send a message to the brain and the brain tells us what we are seeing we can see around us through our eyes we can see the pictures the shape of things the colors of things the distance between things the height and depth of things and we can say that we can see many things from our eyes now come to the next sense organ that are ears the ears receive sound from outside the sounds are carried to the brain and the brain tells us what is making the sound and where the sound is coming from students we can hear different sounds through our ears like loud sound soft sound and melodious sound etc and we can recognize a person by his or her voice or ears we can also recognize the things by their sound so ears help us to hear different sounds around us 
Now we will talk about nose. Many things give off smells. Like scents means good smell and odors means bad smell. The nerves in the nose receive these smells. The brain tells us if the smells are pleasant or not. The differences in the smell can be known through our nose. Like sweet smell, bad smell, we can also recognize the food and other things by their smell. Now come to the another sense organ that is tongue. The tongue helps us to taste things. The tongue is covered with tiny pores which taste different things. Now look at the picture. The boy is eating candy. Hmm, its taste is sweet. Now, in this picture, the boy is eating food. And the food is very salty. Now, what are you seeing in this picture? Yes, the boy is not agree to take medicine. Why? Because medicine taste is bitter. Now, this boy is tasting a lemon. Hmm, its taste is sour. So, we can say that the tongue helps us to taste different things. Now, the last sense organ is skin. The skin helps us to feel. Just under the surface of the skin are the ends of nerves. When we touch something, the nerve endings send a message to the brain. Students, we can feel the things by touching them. Look at the pictures showing the knowledge we gain through our skin. Like rough and smooth, soft and hard. We can also feel the temperature through our skin. Like cold and hot. So, we can feel the things through the contact of skin. Now, I am going to start the another topic that is the systems of the body. The organs and other parts of the body form different systems. And the systems are Number 1 the scalar system. Number 2 the muscular system. Number 3 the digestive system. Number 4 the circulatory system. Number 5 the respiratory system. Number 6 the nervous system. Number 7 the excretory system. Now we will talk about the skeletal system and the muscular system in detail. The skeletal system. The human body has a framework of bones called the skeletal system. The bones of the body make up the skeleton. It gives the shape to our body. It supports and protects the internal organs of our body. Students, the skeletal system consists of different bones. Look at the picture. You can see different bones in the skeletal system. Come on, read the bones name with me. Skull, jaw bones, upper arm bone, Ribs, lower arm bone, spine, hip bone, finger bone, thigh bone, kneecap, heel and toe bone. So, this framework of bones called the skeletal system, the muscular system. The muscles make up the muscular system. Muscles allow us to move different parts of the body. 
This system works with the skeletal system. Means the skeletal system and the muscular system both work together. Now you can see the picture of muscular system on your screen. Now it's time for review of today's lecture. Today we have covered these topics. Sense organs, eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. And we have also talked about their functions. We have also covered the names of systems of the body, the skeletal system and the muscular system in detail. So students, after watching and listening the video, you have to do this assignment. Question number one is, complete the following sentences. You have to read the sentences carefully and then write the correct sense word in the blanks. Question number two, write the names of systems of the body. Question number three, write the names of any five bones of the skeletal system.